and this was our first program. The conference theme was, how different are women? Work-wise, what difference should that difference make? Our keynote speaker was then Senator Marlo Cook, whose topic was equal rights for women. Well, it's about time. As the father of four daughters, he was determined that they would have an opportunity to achieve their maximum potential. If memory serves me, three of the four were already in college at that time. And he was one of our strongest supporters in Congress for the ERA. Under the heading, Gearing for Action, we had several seminars. The title of one was Making a Federal Women's Program Effective. We also presented at that meeting a gold-filled pin to Congresswoman Martha Griffiths for her, disting her distinguished service, especially on the ERA. Now, this is a photograph of the pin, which said, never underestimate the power of a woman, and we need to exercise that power. We also presented a citation for undistinguished service to then counselor to the president, Patrick Moynihan, who is now a congressman from New York, as the person who contributed the most that year to discrimination against women. And the citation read, quote, he has never been known to recommend employment of a woman to any, in any policy-making position in this administration. He is consistent and effective in his disregard and disinterest in influencing the president to extend civil rights to women. Frankly, as I glanced through all of our newsletters during those two years and beyond, I realized that we still have a long way to go. Nevertheless, those were exciting years for me. I felt like a brand new mommy with her firstborn baby. I showered you with all my love, all my attention, and all my energy. I worked at it seven days a week all because I felt it was so vital for the future of all American women, and I still do. Today, FEW has eight elected officers, 17 committees and task forces, 10 regions, and 141 chapters. Much of my time is spent working for Equity for Women by writing letters and making phone calls to members of Congress on legislative issues affecting women, in particular, and these I urge you to pay attention to, the Violence Against Women Act, the Civil Rights Act, the Freedom of Choice Act, gun control, parental leave, child care, and there are many others. Thanks for letting me be with you via this technological medium. We didn't have it back in 1969 and 71.